Hi everyone, this is Mr. Thompson. We are going to complete the squares on this hyperbola here and then graph it. So, check it out. I know it's a hyperbola at first, by the way, because it's positive x squared and negative y squared. Since one of them is positive and one of them is negative, it's got to be a hyperbola. So, let's first complete the square. Alright, my first step is put my x stuff together. I'm going to leave a little blank. Put my y stuff together and move my constant to the other side. Okay, now I'm going to factor out the leading coefficients here and leave a blank. Okay, now my goal is to fill in these spaces here and here with the number that will create a perfect square trinomial. In other words, I'm going to factor this to x something, x plus or minus something squared, and y plus or minus something squared. That's going to be my answer. So in order to fill, the, fill in the box, what I need to do is figure out what number to put in. Well, the number that's going to put in is going to be the number that would give me a 6 as a middle term, or rather half of this would be 3 squared, so plus 9. And that means this is going to be minus 3. I know that this factors to minus 3 because that's negative. And notice now if I foiled this x minus 3 squared out, I'd get x squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay, so that's how this works. Again, here, I'm trying to find the number that would give me a middle term of negative 10. Well, that would be negative 5, which is also the square root of that, which is 25 is half of 10 squared. Now, notice, because I added 9 times 4 to this side, I have to add it over here. And because I added 9 times 4 to, or negative 9 times 25 to this side, I have to add it to this side as well. So 9 times 25 is 225, and it's negative, so minus 225. Okay. And now I've got 153 plus 36 minus 225, which is negative 36 on this side. And on this side, I have my perfect squares, x4, x minus 3 squared, minus 9 times y minus 5 squared equals thir negative 36. My last step here is divide by negative 36, which gives me 1 on this side. And on this side, 4 divided by negative 36 is negative x minus 3 squared over 9. Negative 9 divided by negative 36 is positive y minus 5 squared over 4. And now I'll just rearrange those because notice I don't like seeing them with the positive in the back. So we're going to put the positive one in the front, y minus 5 squared over 4 minus x minus 3 squared over 9 equals 1, and there's my hyperbola. From there, it's easy peasy to graph it and find all the stuff. I've got a center at 3, 5, x radius of 3, y radius of 2, draw my box, draw my asymptotes. I know because the y values are positive that this thing's opening up and down. I can find my foci because I remember that the focal radius squared is equal to the major, or sorry, the transverse radius squared and the my, and the conjugate radius squared, or 13, so if the focal radius is the square root of 13 up and down. And from there I will get a focus, since I'm going from this point, which is at 3, 5, up and down, root 13, I get 3, comma, 5, plus or minus root 13 for my foci. Sorry, it's getting a little crowded in the video. And uh, my asymptotes, because they have a slope of up y and over x radii, and they go to the center, will be y and point slope will be y minus 5. Notice that's the same as over here. Equals plus or minus the y radius is 2, the x radius is 3, times x minus 3 are my asymptotes. Sorry about the crowded graph. In here it got a little tight. But I hope you enjoyed that.
and we'll do more in class tomorrow. All right, thanks. Bye.